What's up YouTube? Jeff back again and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about a question that I get a lot on the channel and it's relevant again now that the S23 and S23 Ultra are out there and I'm making a lot of videos. People always ask me how I get this beautiful vertical scrolling app drawer on my Samsung Galaxy devices. Now of course you know that if you have a Samsung Galaxy phone that it does come by default with the horizontal scrolling app drawer. And one thing that can be annoying about that is that it takes a long time to swipe through all the app pages. So the vertical one's a lot nicer. And this one in particular is really nice because it doesn't require a third party app. You can actually get this with an app that is made by Samsung themselves. So if you want to do that, it's going to require the GoodLock suite that we talk a lot about on this channel. Of course, you can download GoodLock from the Galaxy Store. As always, I will drop a link below if you guys wanna check out a link to GoodLock. It'll be below there so you can see it. Once you do that, you're going to want to install the module on the makeup side, which is called Home Up. It's right here. Once you install GoodLock, you'll have the option to install this. I've already installed it. You can also add a shortcut to the home screen. If you want to be able to access this module itself without going into GoodLock every time, you could do that. So if you go into Home Up here, uh, what you'll notice is there's a lot of options. I'm going to talk about a couple of these actually in addition to the vertical scrolling app drawer. So you can actually do some other cool things that people often ask me about. The first one though, is if you go into where it says home screen, right down here where it says apps list, this is what allows you to turn on the vertical scrolling app drawer. So if you go right there to apps list, that is going to turn it on for you. That is going to make sure you enable that feature that you're looking for. So I'll just show you guys, I'll turn it off so you can see what it looks like. It says the array is initialized. Do I want to continue? I'm going to say, okay. If I do, then now it's back to normal. See, I've got the home screen with the horizontal scrolling. And then if I go back and turn on the apps list, go up here, now I've got my vertical scrolling afterward again. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I love being able to scroll through my apps list in this way. And it makes things a lot more convenient uh, just for daily use, like if you're using this and scrolling through things. Now you can also change some other things in here that give you expanded options that you don't get in the regular Samsung settings. If you go up here to home screen grid, you can modify the home screen grid here a little bit more carefully than you can in the regular home settings. You can also change the favorites max count at the bottom of your home screen. You can choose the loop pages, which is pretty cool. Um, that moves from the first or last page to the last or the first. It's a pretty cool feature that if you're scrolling through your home screen pages, it allows you to do that turning that on there. Um, finder access. So you can choose to access the finder by swiping anywhere on the home or app screen. Uh, for this, you do have to disable the swipe down for notifications, um, which I like to have on. So if you have that feature on, you can't use this because it's the same uh, trigger for both. You can turn on background blur and background color control. You can go in and change the background color control. What this will do is if you change this to green, when you go into your uh, app drawer, it's now gonna have a green background instead of a black background. I think that's a pretty cool feature. You can also control the blur on that as well if you want. And you can hide the app icon label that is in the actual apps list, which I find very difficult because some apps look the same in terms of the icon, they look similar. And so if I don't have the name, sometimes I find it difficult. Uh, particularly, I use Spark Email. That one looks very similar to Android Auto. So sometimes the notifications look similar. I don't want to confuse myself anymore, but you can turn that on if you want. Uh, the other thing that people often ask me a lot about is if you go down here to Task Changer, you can also change your recent apps Task Changer as well. Uh, from the standard one to one like this, I have the grid. So you actually go like this, you'll notice that you've got this grid of applications instead of the standard one that you just scroll over that has one column. Um, you can also turn on in mini mode so that these show at the bottom only. You can turn the app label on, so you can actually have the app label on so that then it will label all the apps by their name. I actually kind of like that for this one. Having the app label on is nice. Show the search bar or not, you can turn that off. Recommended apps on the recent app screen, you can turn that off if you don't like it. And switch to the previous app with gestures, which of course is by default is on. Uh, you can allow bottom gestures in full screen mode, allow recent gestures in the pay region of the home screen, uh, that is down there where the Samsung Pay would be. Gesture top priority, which means the gestures, uh, with there's an interference between the gestures and the app area, then the gesture, overall gesture, takes priority. 
and bottom gesture sensitivity. You can change that. I never really found a need to do that, but it's always nice to have more options if you do want to employ them. Now there's some other stuff in here as well, like folder options, backup and restore and share manager. These are a little more in depth and I'm actually gonna make a separate video on those. You can actually change the way your share um, screen looks when you first start sharing an item like a photo, a video, whatever other file. You can change how to backup and restore for your layout. So like if you've had a home up layout on a previous device, you can import that here. And you can also kind of change how your folders behave on the home screen, but also create folders uh, in that app list that I showed you guys before. But today, the main thing I wanted to show is this, which is the apps list itself. A lot of people want that vertical scrolling apps list. And uh, it's really cool also that you can make it a different color. And over here, uh, oops, I got the edge there, but you can scroll through using this little sliding bar. You guys can see the alphabet right there. Right, my finger's in the way. If I go this way, you can see the alphabet there to get to a specific letter if you know where the app is. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video on enabling the vertical app. If you have any questions, drop them below. Happy to get back to you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon. If you love Samsung content, you want to know how to customize your phone, this is the place for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.